Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Today I've got another weapon chest location guide for you guys and we're going to be covering all the chests in the Hyperion Hub of Heroism. So, the first one, right from the fast travel, you're just going to run straight into this first room here. Head to the right hand side corner and as you can see, turn back to the left slightly and there is a loot locker sat just here. There's quite a lot of loot lockers on this map so there's not necessarily a massive amount of chests, mainly lockers. Next we are right below the train tracks as you can see here and uh, if you just come here to the left hand side as you're heading towards research and development there is a nice red chest sat just here in this corner. It's pretty much right under the train tracks as well for reference, there it is on the map. And then from there we're going to turn around and remember that little side mission where you had to freeze that guy in that little room? Right in front of you, you can see him now still frozen, he's just there. Well, just behind him to the left hand side is another loot locker. So uh, go ahead and open that one up as well. There you go on the map. And then from here we're going to head up the stairs and onto the actual train tracks. So uh, run all the way along, be careful of the trains coming, they will wipe you out and insta kill you, so just run to the left hand side, you'll see now I actually timed this quite well where there is actually a train coming, there you go, so just head stick to the left hand side here and it will go straight past you, from there you've got time to run all the way to the end and uh, as you get to the end, to the right hand side, keep following it around and there is another red chest for you to pick up just there. So, once again, here it is on the map. It's really close to the uh, entrance to Jack's office as well, just for reference. Okay, next we are heading towards research and development into the workers' bunkers, I think it's called. And uh, as you open the door, run straight down and then just stick to the right hand side. It's behind the fish tank for those of you that do Ballast Rank challenges that uh, actually uh, feed the fishes challenge. Um, there is a loot locker sat right behind it, there you go, nice and easy to see and as you can see it's right at the entrance to research and development. Next we're heading towards the Vades of Helios um, entrance and we're on the right hand side of the map as you're heading down there and uh, again there's a little side mission where you've got to open this up and uh, jump off the waterfall, that's another badass rank challenge but in this room there is a red chest sat just here and uh, right on top of the water as you can see. Nice and easy to get to. You can also grenade jump up there if you uh, haven't opened that little hatch up yet in the side mission. You can just grenade jump up onto where I am now. But uh, from there, we're just going to jump down as well and run all the way along to the end of the water. And uh, as you get to the end of the water, just turn right and uh, as if you're heading back towards Jack's office and the main part of the hub of heroism. Uh, you can't actually jump up there because there's no big, you know, jump. Uh, so run up these stairs, turn left and then come back on yourself and then back towards the water and... Uh, at the end there is a loot locker sat just here so we'll go ahead and open that up and then bring it up on the map again for you guys and then for the final part of this guide we are here at the security office near where Corporal Bob spawns uh, one of his spawns uh, it's also where Professor Nakayama is here we are you oh, there's Nakayama there and uh, just as you come in this room on the left hand side there are two loot lockers sat uh, just at opposite sides of pillars and uh, yeah, there you go, I'll bring that up on the map, and that is it for all the loot lockers and chests on this map uh, that I can find that you can access. So uh, there it is, but just a little special mention as well, in the uh, Kill Meg mission, you should know that one pretty well, uh, you come down here into the trash compactor, uh, you press that button, it opens up, you go ahead and kill Meg, and uh, then you come out at this shop here, there are two loot lockers in there, so for those of you guys that actually uh, say, oh you've missed some or anything like that, there's two loot lockers but I don't know how to get to them, I'm pretty sure you cannot get back into them, but I thought I'd mess you know, mention it on this guy, because you can see them in plain view, but again, I'm pretty sure you cannot get back in that room. If anyone knows uh, a way to get back in that room, uh, please let me know and I'll give you a little shout out and refilm the video, and of course, as always in these guys, if you know of any chests that I've missed, please be sure to let me know where they are and again I'll refilm this video and give you a little mention for it I like to make them as accurate as possible but I'm pretty sure that is all the chests and loot lockers in this map Hyperion Hub of Heroism Weapon Chest Location Guide thanks for watching everyone I will see you guys in the next video